What's going on everyone? It's Alex here from Alex Physio. Today we're going to be going over five sciatica nerve flossing exercises that you can do if you have sciatica nerve pain. Welcome. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Alexander Kravich, physiotherapist in Vancouver, British Columbia. And today we're going to be going over five different sciatic nerve flossing exercises that you can do if you have sciatic nerve pain. These exercises we're going to show from least provocative to your symptoms to maybe most provocative. Um, so obviously you're going to try to do the ones that feel best for you and feel like you're getting some relief. The key is that you're not holding any of these stretches. You're trying to, or these sciatic nerve uh, flossing exercises, you're moving in and out of the positions and you're trying to aim for about 8 to 12 repetitions per exercise. So the first exercise we're going to do is we're going to grab a yoga block or something that's elevated off the ground to, um, to get in a ready position. We're going to stand in a split stance like this, so the bended leg is going to be the one that's in the front. And from here, all we're going to do is just trying to hinge at our hips and come back to the start. So we're tensioning one end and relaxing the other. So our foot is just resting on the yoga block, we're not moving the ankle, we're just hinging at our hips. There should be some symptom provocation when you hinge forward and then relax on the way back. Again, you're not holding this position, you're just moving in and out. Okay, so no foot involvement for this one. Progression two, we're going to now move in and out. So our sciatic nerve runs down the back of our leg all the way down into our toes. So as we're tensioning one end of the sciatic nerve, we're relaxing the other. So now, as I am hinging forward, as I'm hinging forward, I'm trying to point my toes down. And then as I'm coming back to the start, I'm trying to point my toes and my ankle upwards. Okay, so forward, ankle relaxes or points towards the ground. Back to the start, ankle and toes go up. Okay, so we're just kind of moving in and out of that position. This is how it's going to look like at regular speed. That's progression two. Progression three is now you're just going to keep your ankle up the whole time and your toes up the whole time. So you're tensioning the bottom end of the nerve. And now you're just going to lean forward or hinge forward and come back. So when you hinge forward, there's going to be quite a bit of tension. Then when you come back, there's going to be less tension on the component of the nerve that's closer to your buttocks and your back. Okay, so hinge forward, come back. Keep your ankle up the whole time, okay? So again, this one's gonna be a little bit more provocative. Number four, we're gonna do a slump uh, stretch. So what this is gonna look like is you're gonna bring your hands behind your back and you're gonna just round your back and your mid back and low back and kind of slouch and tilt your pelvis backwards as well. Looking down, you're trying to straighten your leg. As you're straightening your leg, you're looking up. Okay, and when you come back to the start, you're looking down. So again, same thing, we're tensioning one end, relaxing the other, but now we're involving our whole body versus just from our pelvis down, okay? So what this is gonna look like at full speed, again, you're just gonna relax. So I'm straightening, looking up, bending, looking down, straightening, looking up, bending, looking down, straightening up, the last one we're going to do is we're going to lie down on our back. I'll we'll use the left foot in this case just because it's closer to the camera. We're going to interlace our fingers and we're going to rest um, our hands just behind our knee. We're bringing our knee into as much hip bend, we're bringing our hip in as much hip bend as we can. And from here, we're trying to straighten our leg and point our toes and our ankle up or towards us. And then coming back down and doing the opposite. So up, pointing towards us, straighten leg, down, toes point down, knee bend. Knee straight, towards, down, knee bend, toes point down. Okay, so it's going to look like this. We're just going to go in and out of those positions. Okay, so there you have it. We went over five different progressions of the sciatic nerve flossing exercise, depending on what level of provocation you have in your symptoms. 
Do you have sciatica? Let me know down in the comments below what you have found that has worked and what has it. Uh, did you have injections? Did you have surgery? Did it get better with physio or medications or any other sort of intervention? Let me know down below what your uh, story and what uh, your history has been. I always love reading um, these comments and messages and I appreciate you sharing. If you find value in this video, please consider checking out some of my other videos. I have over 500 videos on various physio, exercise, and medical related topics. And until then, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.